the jobs of the future. You see, the rise in automation and robotics has resulted in a loss of thousands of jobs in traditional industries around the country. Traditional underline. Sunrise reporter Sean White has been investigating the jobs of the future. I need to Sean. train um, Tommy uh, to oh, be yeah. like Digger. Ah. I hope we get paid more. Um, good morning, guys. Well, it's clear from those in, well, the know that it's just one generation. The way we work and the jobs we do will have changed dramatically. If movies have taught me anything, it's that the future is going to be great. Flying cars and... Hydrate level four, please. The... Oh boy, oh boy, Mom. You sure can hydrate a pizza. But while we wait for the future to arrive, how exactly will we be paying for those fancy gadgets? We asked leading Australian futurists to look into their crystal balls and show us the jobs of the future. First, the bad news. It's no secret automation is replacing the work of humans at a rapid rate. Manufacturing workers across the country have already felt this firsthand. Robotics have boomed, filling those traditional industrial roles. But as Morris Mizalowski sees it, for the first time in history, white collar jobs are now also in the firing line. So our bookkeepers, for instance, because their jobs are routine, doesn't mean they're not great and they don't require skill, but we can teach a computer to do something similar. We're going to see our law clerks disappear. In America already, there are a whole lot of law firms that are using ROS, R -O -S -S, which is an artificial intelligence or machine learning algorithm that's replacing them that can put together taught in a minute. So where exactly are the new jobs coming from? Well, the good news is, despite the rise of robotics, there will still be plenty of work for humans. Well, much of it will come in the design and creativity sphere. The emotionally clever jobs technology just can't fill. In fact, the jobs of the future are totally unrecognisable in name and function from the jobs of our parents or grandparents. For example, have you ever dreamt of being a machine linguist? No? What about a robotics engineer or a virtual police commander? How about a vertical farming specialist? These are titles some believe will be commonplace in just a generation. Yes, Tom. Really? But the biggest change to employment will be to the working week. Dolly Parton's notion of 9 to 5 workday is already being challenged. With the rise of the sharing economy, millions now have the flexibility to work when they want. And you can forget about that one career for life. It's predicted that in 20 years, the average Australian will have around 40 jobs in a lifetime. Yeah, I think the working day is actually going to be a misnomer in about 20 years or so, because work will not be dictated by the clock. It'll be dictated by the outcome. So we will have a, a need to complete something where, when and how we do it will be dictated by the work and the client and our employer. So how do we prepare? Well, education and training will still be essential to landing the job you want. It will just look very different to today. Oh, and get ready, maybe, just maybe, you'll be driving your flying car to work. Working nice.